fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty hi Silver, the Lone Ranger. His faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations, and nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for the Oregon Trail! Come, Silver! On the Oregon Trail, the pioneers met many hardships, and often the worst of these was not Indians or hunger or thirst or loss of direction. No, the thing that the pioneers feared most was fire, because water was so precious that fire was hard to fight. It was fire that struck suddenly at a caravan of prairie schooners drawn up for the night at a dry camp in the desert. The wagons were drawn in a circle, their white canvas tops reflecting the light of a campfire where the pioneers were resting after supper. Suddenly, a burst of flame charred the weathered canvas of one wagon. Fire! Trouble, fire! Quick, get it out of the circle. Every one will burn up. What? Hastings, Larry, Drummond, give a run. We got no water to spare. Catch up the horses. There's no time for horses. Drag it out by hand. Come on, grab the pole. All right, come on, help us here. This way, out of the circle. Better swing it over the other side. The wind's the wrong way. Yes, yeah, swing it. Hurry up. Fire's getting mighty hot, Johnson. Handle's flying every which way. All right, man, this is far enough for the go. Stand back. Stand back. Uh, can't waste water, Drummond. This will just have to stand by and watch you burn. Mr. Johnson! Mr. Johnson! Miss Davis, look out where you're going. You'll get burnt. No, no, I just come to warn you. There's a keg of blasting powder in the wagon and I'll blow up. What's that? Blasting powder. That's so blasting powder. I keep forgot. Back, everybody. Get back. <laughs> Hello. Did you see that? Ah. Keep big flame right up at night. Look like an explosion. Where'd it come from? Only place near here, Oregon Trail. No explosion from... There. The sound of it reached us, Tato. Was an explosion. Must have been about 15 miles away. How are you savvy that? The time between seeing it and hearing it. it. Took about 15 seconds for the sound to get here. Oh, maybe so. Tato never learned that. Fire are all gone now. It's almost straight north of us, Tato. That's right. North Star up in the sky that way. We travel fast. We can get there long before dawn. Maybe that'd be bad. Maybe we come, they shoot. It'll be dark, Tano. Necessary, we can leave our horses and go the rest of the way Indian style. They won't be able to see that I'm masked. Isn't that true? Whatever caused it, someone may need help. We can't turn aside. Come on, Silver! Get him up! Come! Said each something awful. I can't understand it. I've led plenty of wagons to Oregon, plenty. But I never had the things happen that seemed to be happening to this one. 
We had three fires, two people killed. It seems like there's an evil spirit dog in this wagon train. I declare it does. No reason for it, and yet it happens. How soon do you think we'll be able to hit the trail again, Mr. Johnson? <laughs> well, the way I feel now, it'll be two days before we can move. But after that, they'll be riding a wagon instead of a horse. Are you two getting along now? Good night, Mr. Johnson. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yep, there's something mighty strange about these happenings. Something mighty strange. I wish I could figure whether it's accident or whether somebody's doing it all deliberate. But if it's deliberate, what's the reason? I can't say why anyone would... Who's that? I heard the canvas scrape. Who's that? You don't need your gun. I still... Uh, who are you? It's dark, eh? I'm a friend. You were none of the wagon train, I can tell that. Who are you? We saw the explosion from the south. We rode here as fast as we could. We? Who else is with you? Tonto. He's my Indian partner. An Indian? Well, I can understand how an Indian can creep up without any noise, but you're not an Indian. No, I'm not. I can't see your face. It's dark, but there's something about your voice. You, you do sound like a friend. We uh, listened outside before we came in. Johnson, in your heart, you know someone is doing all these things. You mean the fire and the explosion? Whatever they are. You do feel that way, don't you? You're a pretty smart hombre, mister. Nobody else guessed how I feel. I thought so. Matter of fact, I didn't dare let my feelings out. Folks might get panicky, start seeing things in the shadows, might even start mistrusting each other. Been known to happen on the trail? Yes. That's what I was afraid of. Will you uh, tell us about this wagon train? Yeah? All about it. The people in it, where they came from, where you're heading. All you know about them. Well, uh... How about it? Mister, I don't savvy why I'm agreeing, but... Do you know I will? I'll tell you all... Oh, your side? Yeah. Yeah, it's burnt. It's worse than I care to tell. Uh, Tonto, Tonto, look at by now. Uh, wait a second, Indian. All right, Johnson. Tonto's very good at doctoring people. He knows all about Indian herbs and remedies. Uh, me know what to do for Byron. Me fix it plenty good and... When me get plant that grow near here. Can you get it now, Tonto? Uh-uh. Me go get it. That means you'll be as good as new very soon, Johnson. Now, suppose you tell me. Let's start with you. Where did you come from and where are you going? Oh, Shan. That day was the finest breakfast I ever ate. I declare when a body can eat such fine vittles, it makes him forget all his troubles. Of which we have plenty, Ralph. Yeah, poor Drummond. Oh, well, what's past is past. Let's set our minds to the future, Sham, to Oregon. Oregon. Land of peace and plenty. Well, why did we ever get there? Jasper, you a sunny disposition if I ever saw one. I don't feel sunny. Nothing but rack and ruin following this wagon train. That's what it is, rack and ruin. Ain't that so, Berman? Yep, yep. Of course, there's a silver lining to all this trouble we've been having. You mean getting to Oregon? Well, not getting there, Miss Davis, but how many get there? Looks like it's going to be less. In some ways, that's mighty good. Huh? Well, every time anybody died, why, they willed their parcel of land to the rest of us, didn't they? Why, you hold the honor ain't no... Well, you sound like a grave robber. Oh, here now, now. Sit down, David, sit down. Well, that's no way to talk. Oh, I agree with it, isn't it? But still, it's a fact, isn't it? Yes. Sir. Well, no sense dodging facts. Let's face them, I say. Oh, all I wish is that we'd get there. Agreed, ma'am, Agreed. Well, how we're going to get along when Johnson is flat on his back and not a mite of good to lead us, I don't... somebody miss my name? I declare, Mr. Johnson! Oh, well, hey, you look as lively as a chipmunk. I feel lively. Well, it, it's not possible. You better get right back to bed and stay there. You got a bad burn. Which same is completely better. At least it feels better. Sharon, I never figured you were so handy a doctor. Well, no more did I, Ralph. I... Are you certain you're feeling fit, Mr. Johnson? <laughs> now, don't you trouble your mind, Mr. Davis. I'm fit as a fiddle. Ready to lead this wagon train to Oregon and back. <laughs> well, what's the matter, Berman? Is something trouble you? Uh, no, no. You look like a bullfrog getting ready to croak. <laughs> That's the way he always looks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, everybody, if you're finished with a morning meal, what are we waiting for? Oh, huh? thing, I guess. Sure is a bright morning. A beautiful morning. Just right to head for Oregon. So hitch up them horses. Get those wagons ready. Hey, Johnson. Yeah? What about the wagon that burned? We taking that along? Nope. Why not? It's still got good wheels and some parts we are We don't all... want it. All it'll do will remind us of... Yeah, yeah, Sharon's right. Leave it right here. Sure, we'll leave it here. Come on now, let's get busy. We're heading for Oregon. <laughs> Line up, 
look around, he'd wave his whip or grin or, or sing out some word. Oh, no, Sharon, honey, you mustn't. I know. I'll be all right directly, Ralph. It was just passing by what's left of his wagon that made me feel... Just keep looking ahead, Sharon. That way's Oregon. Oregon. Do you think we'll ever get there? Of course we will. Lots of folks don't. But we will. We'll get there. We're bound to. And when we do... Sharon, I told you not to keep looking back. Ralph! Honey, what's wrong? Why, you... Well, you turned white as cow's milk. I don't see him now. Huh? I don't see nothing back there but that burnt wagon. I don't either. Not now. But for a second, I thought I saw two riders over yonder beside that clump of trees. Sure. Two riders, Ralph, and I, I could have sworn that one of them... One of them wore a mask. <laughs> Aye, aye, Kimosabe. The wagon train is gone. Ah, uh, Tonto watch from hill. Wagon train gone to west. Nobody see us. You look at wagon? Yes, what's left of it. Uh, canvas burnt bad, huh? Yes, and the frame is twisted from the explosion. But uh, you smell something, Tonto? Huh? Oh, me smell oil. I noticed that, too. But where it come from? Right here from the wagon, Tonto. From wagon? Oh, that's right. But Tonto not savvy. If wagon on fire, then why this part not burn? The explosion of the blasting powder blew the flames out. Oh, that right, that. Kimasabi. That plenty strange. What's that? Oil on outside wagon. Outside, not inside. Yes, I know. But that mean oil not come from fire or from inside wagon. It means... It means that oil came from outside the wagon. Ah. Uh. It means someone deliberately spilled oil on that wagon and then set it on fire. That's right. I knew you'd notice it. Uh, but who do it? Well, you were with me last night when I talked to Johnson, Tonto. He told us all he knew of the people on this wagon train. Uh, him do that. Can you single any one of them out? No. No, Tonto not able to tell from that. Neither can I. But there was one point he made. Huh? I mean what Johnson said about where this wagon train is heading and what they plan to do. Ah, uh, they head for Valley of Waterfall. Yes. What else? Uh, you mean talk about uh, community? That's it, Tonto. A community settlement. They were all planning to settle the valley together and to own the land together. No single plots for each family, but all the families own all the lands. You see? Ah, that like Indian custom. Yes, but tell me this, Tonto. In your tribe, suppose a family dies. What happens to its teepee, its horses, and its furs? They go to rest a village. Suppose all the families died off until only one family was left. Would that family own all the wealth of the entire tribe? Ah, uh, that's right, but... Kimasabe. Tonto savvy now. That's what you mean. I'm certain of it, Tonto. Someone in that wagon train is deliberately planning murder in order to get his clutches on the whole valley to take everything for himself. It looked that way. Everything points to it, and yet there's no way of knowing who the fiend is. Uh, him not stop at anything, huh? We've got to make him stop. That's right. But it's same as looking for spring in big desert. Not as bad as that, Tonto. There are only 20 people in that wagon train. If we watch them day and night from now on, then we're sure to get some idea. Now what we do? We go after wagon train? Yes, from now until it reaches Oregon. Until we uncover the murderer. Steady, Silver. Yes, be easy, Father. We're heading west, Tonto. After the wagon train. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Oh, Silver! Boy! curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story. Westward, mile after mile, moved the ill-fated wagon train. As each day brought its new problems, the pioneers forgot about the tragedies they had left behind and thought more and more about Oregon. One night around the campfire... Well, I reckon we've left our troubles back with the old campfires. Everything's been Jim Dandy lately. Even the weather's been nice. The country's easier to travel in, too. More trees and more hills. It, it rests the eyes, kind of. <laughs> more trees and hills. More space for Indians to hide behind, that's what. Listen to Jasper. Jasper's right. There's trouble ahead. You never know when lightning's going to strike, never. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Julia. Don't you two ever think about anything cheerful? There's such a thing as being too cheerful. I heard tales about what happens in this country. Engines that come out of the night without warning. They lift your scalp before you know it. You old Jonah. Don't Jonah me. Why, only yesterday dawn I saw one of them. You saw one of what? An engine. What? Yeah, you 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 I am not. I got eyes. I know what I saw. It was just around dawn. There was no shadows. Everything was gray and strange looking. <laughs> sure, you know how it is around dawn. Gives you the creeps. Something woke me up. I don't know what. I was sleeping under my wagon. I looked out between the spokes, and then I seen him. An engine a little ways off. He was sitting on a paint horse. He had eagle feathers in his hair, and he was looking down at our camp, not saying a word or moving a muscle. I tell you, it gave me the Jim James. Well, why didn't you shoot him? Well, I tried to reach for my gun, but I... Well, the second I put my hand out, he was gone. His horse galloped away into the mist right out of sight. And you can believe this or not, but that horse didn't make a sound. Oh, Berman, that's fine talk for the women and children to hear. <laughs> well, that's enough. I wish likely he was dreaming. Let's forget all about it. The day after tomorrow, we come to the Snake River. It's going to be a job to cross it. You've got to be thinking about that instead of about engineering. Hey, what in thunder? Jasper, what was that? I don't know. Something hit the log I'm setting on. Hit it an awful wallop. I... Look. Look at that. What? It's an arrow. An Indian arrow. Put out the fire. Men, get your guns. We'll keep watch all night. Hey, I told you I saw it, Injun. Come on, hurry. Come on, hurry. Get your guns. Miss Hubby, you keep watch on wagon train for six days now. Not see anything. Hello. Quiet, someone's coming. That's right. Come on, follow me. Mr. Stand where you are. What? Oh, it's you, Johnson. Oh, well, yes, man. Sure gave me a start. I came out looking for you on your part, but I didn't know exactly where to go. Oh, uh, we hear you. Anything unusual happen with the wagon train, Johnson? Well, yes and no. There's a little something about engines. Engine? No engine around here. Bowman swears he saw one this morning at dawn. Engine on a paint horse. Of course, that was Tonto. And when the horse left, his hoofs made no sound. <laughs> Not right. Scout him have hoofs wrapped with cloth. So not make noise. Well, yes, I thought it might be you, Tonto. But then something else happened just a couple of hours ago. Tonto, you didn't shoot an arrow, did you? Huh? An arrow? One hit a log not more than a foot from Jasper. He pulled it out and gave it to me. The whole camp's on tender hooks about it. Tonto shot no arrow, Johnson. He didn't. And that means there are engines around, hostile engines that are getting ready to raid. And... Wait. You bring arrow with you? Yes, here it is. Oh. They're dark. Tonto not able to see. Uh, you light match, huh? Aquino, I still get a few matches. Here you are. Oh, you look, Kimasabi. Yes, I see it, Tonto. Johnson, that's not an Indian arrow. What's that? It looks like one, but it isn't. Every Indian arrow bears certain markings. The Apache make their arrows a certain way, the crow another way. It's the same with the Sioux and the Blackfeet and the Navajo. This has no markings of any tribe. Isn't that right, Tonto? Ah, this not Indian arrow. Well, you gents, you know all about things, don't you? We've been ranging the West for years, Johnson. But they don't savvy. If it wasn't engines, who did shoot this arrow? Perhaps it wasn't shot at all. Yeah? Did you hear it hiss through the air? No, oh, but we heard it hit the log. Besides, we was talking and it was dark. And... Yes, it was dark and you were talking. So it would have been easy for someone among you to take advantage of that. To conceal the arrow where it wouldn't be seen. And then to drive it into the log by hand. Well, I'll be... So that's it. Yes. This is all part of the scheme to keep the wagon train nervous and wrought up. And they've got no idea who did it. They're clever, Johnson. Whoever they are, they're very clever. I hope nothing happens for a while. We got the Snake River to cross. It's a mighty tough job. Your men will need all the rest they can get to cross the Snake. Go back to camp, Johnson. See if you can calm your camp down. Sure. I'll tell them what you said about the arrow. No, don't do that. Why not? Because we don't know who the killers are, Johnson. If you explain about the arrow, it will make them more wary. We'll never learn their identity. We just have to watch and wait. 
And Tonto and I will be near every minute. Kino Mash Man and Adios. Yeah, adios. Yeah, the Snake River. Uh-huh. Tonto, I didn't mention it to Johnson, but I have a feeling there's going to be trouble at Snake River. And what's more, I think there was someone listening to us talking just now. Kimasabi. When Johnson lit the match, I saw two eyes glowing in the reflection. Then they disappeared. Maybe an animal. I don't think so. They were just the right height for a man's eyes, Tonto. Why you not follow? Because they went back to the wagon camp. It would have been impossible to know who it was. But he saw us and he heard us, Tonto. There's going to be trouble. There's something brewing. You're local. I'm not local. I followed him, I tell you. He walked out behind the hills and he met a masked man and an engine. The same engine I saw this morning. He showed him the arrow you made. Go on. You didn't do such a good job with that arrow, Jasper. The engine and the masked man knew right off it was a fake. Might have fooled him, but not those hombres. Masked man, huh? I don't like it, Berman. No more do I. At least there's one thing in our favor. They haven't got any idea that it's us who set fire to Drummond's wagon and killed him. That it was us who stampeded the horses at Kelso. I don't like it. There's 20 people still left. We're getting closer to Oregon every day. And every day, Johnson and those two armies will get closer to discovering it's us. We've got to work fast, Berman. What are we going to do? There's 18 people to get rid of. That's a big job. And once across the Snake River, it's only two Berman, days. that's it. The Snake River. Huh? Why didn't I think of it before? Sure, that's the place. There's mighty fast rapids down below the crossing. Water gets so fast and rough it'll drown 18 people as easy as flies. And those that don't drown, we can shoot from the bank. Uh, you're the one that's loco, Jasper. You make it sound as simple it as... It is. It is, Berman. Steady, Silver. Steady. Steady. Easy, boy. Easy. Lashing logs to the sides of the wagons, Tonto. They'll be crossing the Snake River very soon now. Huh? Ah, uh, you say trouble come at Snake River? I still think so. There go first wagon into water now. Can you see who it is? Two men ride wagon. Fellow holding reins. One called Jasper. Other man, him Berman. Jasper and... Tonto. Jasper. Isn't he the one who found that arrow? That's right. And Berman is the man who's been telling all the gruesome stories around the campfire, stories about Indian raiding parties and prairie fires. That's and... right, too. Jasper and Berman. And they're the first ones to cross the river. Otto, ride down to the bank. Ride at once and tell Johnson you're crossing with him. He crossed with pioneers? Tell him that. Go ahead. I'm leaving you here. Where you go, Kimasabi? You'll see me later. Just be ready for whatever happens. Come on, Silver! Sure, you keep hold of that rope, otherwise the colonel will carry you downstream. Mr. Johnson, Mr. Johnson, just a second. Yes, Davis. Well, uh, I don't want to seem curious, but that engine, is he riding with you? Yep, he is. Well, you think it's wise? After all, an engine none of us ever seen before. I've seen him, Davis. His name is Tonto. And I'll tell you something else. He's partner to the Lone Ranger. The, the Lone Ranger? Yep. Got any more objections? No, sir, not now. Lead the way, Mr. Johnson. I'll be right behind you, and so will the rest. Kino, Sharon, we're ready to go. Come on, now. Uh, all ready? All ready, Tonto. What about your horse? Scout him, swim beside wagon. Him all right. I reckon we'd better be ready for anything, huh? That's what Lone Ranger say. I wish I knew what. Hey! Are you coming, the Ranger? Kino, Jasper, here we go. Make sure that rope doesn't slip. Get up there. Get up, horse. One by one, the wagons were driven into the wide water. The horses pushed into the current, floundering for a moment when the river deepened and swimming strongly as the wagons floated behind them. The men in the wagons held on the stout rope that stretched from one shore to another. Slowly, the caravan moved toward the center of the stream. And on the western shore, their eyes gleaming and their lips thin and cruel, waited the two murderers. They're all in the water now, Jasper. Keep your hands off your guns, you fool. Yeah. We're getting close to the middle, Jasper. Let them come about 50 yards more. That's where the current is fastest. Where's the axe? Right against the tree where the rope's tied. Kino. 
now. Now's the time. Come on, Berman, get that axe and cut the rope. Adios, Johnson. Adios to all of you. We're going to cut the rope. You'll all drown in the river. The valley of the waterfall will be mine. Shoot, shoot him, Johnson. Cut the rope, Berman. Yeah, I'll... No, you don't. Drop that axe. No, oh, what, what happened? He knocked the axe out of my hands. Jasper, get your gun. Shoot him. Before... Steady, 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 steady. Oh, my hand. Leave those guns alone. Now raise your hands in the air and stay away from that rope. Those wagons are getting to shore and you won't stop them. Oh, it sure is good to be across that river, Mr. Johnson. Bugs are all off the wagons, yeah. ready to roll again. What about Jasper and Berman? They'll head for jail instead of Oregon, Miss Davis. A lone ranger and the Indian are taking them back for trial. The masked man saved our lives. When I think we might have drowned in that terrible river, I... What's it? Did you say he's the lone ranger? <laughs> yes, Shan. Look. Look, there they go. Look at them ride. Oh, that white stallion gleams in the sunlight. He sure does. Well, what are we waiting for? Come on, let's hit the trail. We're heading for Oregon. One, The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.